Hello friends, welcome to this video session. In this video, we will study molecular mass and mole concept. Friends, we have studied atomic mass. Let us now learn about molecular mass. The molecular mass of a substance is the sum of the atomic masses of all the atoms in a molecule of the substance. We express this by the atomic mass unit U. Let us understand this by an example. Let us find the molecular mass of water H2O. Water is made up of hydrogen H and oxygen O atoms. The atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 U and the atomic mass of oxygen is 16 U. So, water which consists of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom will have a molecular mass equal to sum of 2 into 1 and 1 into 16 that is 18 U. Now, can you find the molecular mass of sulfuric acid H2SO4? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. We can find the molecular mass of sulfuric acid H2SO4 in this way. The molecular mass of sulfuric acid H2SO4 is 98U. When the constituents of matter are ions, then instead of molecular mass, we find its formula unit mass. The formula unit mass of a substance is the sum of the atomic masses of all its constituent ions. For example, a zinc oxide ZnO molecule contains one zinc ion Zn2 plus and one oxide ion O2 minus. Therefore, we have the formula unit mass of zinc oxide. In this way, one can find the sum of masses of a zinc and an oxide ion. Friends, can you find the formula unit mass of potassium carbonate K2CO3? To answer the question, you can stop the video. Well done friends, you have found the perfect answer. The formula unit mass of potassium carbonate is 138U. Let us now discuss the mole concept. You may be wondering what is a mole? A mole of a species, atom, molecule, ion or particle is that quantity in number having a mass equal to its atomic or molecular mass in grams. The number of particles in a mole of a substance is fixed whose value is 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. It is called Avogadro constant or Avogadro number. It is represented by NO. For example, a dozen of an object is equal to 12 objects. In the same way, one mole of a substance is equal to the 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. Besides being related to a number, a mole has one more advantage over a dozen or a gross. This advantage is that mass of one mole of a particular substance is also fixed. The mass of one mole of a substance is equal to its relative atomic or molecular mass in grams. 
The atomic mass of an element gives us the mass of one atom of that element in atomic mass units U. In the same way, the mass of one mole of atoms of an element is called molar mass. It is the value of atomic mass, but in this unit we use gram, G instead of U. We also call the gram atomic mass of the atomic mass of an atom. Let us understand this in more detail by some examples. The oxygen atom has a mass of 16 U. Therefore, the gram atomic mass of oxygen will be 16 grams. 16 U oxygen has only one oxygen atom. And in 16 grams of oxygen, it's one mole atom. That is 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 oxygen atoms. Chemists require numbers of atoms and molecules to conduct the reactions. For this, they have to relate masses with numbers in grams. Let's do this as follows. Let us now learn to solve some questions based on molar mass. Let us first see how we can find the number of moles by mass. If we have 46 grams of sodium, how many moles of sodium will it be? Suppose the number of moles is small m. The given mass is small m and the molar mass is capital M. Now, we know that the atomic mass of sodium is 23U. This means molar mass of sodium is 23 grams. Therefore, we can find the number of moles by dividing the given mass by the molar mass in this way. We can see that 46 grams of sodium will have 2 moles of sodium. Now, let's see if we are given the number of atoms. Then, how can we get the number of moles from it? 18.066 into 10 raised to 23 will be equal to how many moles of helium atoms? To find the number of moles, we divide the number of given particles by Avogadro's number. In this way, 18.066 into 10 raised to 23 helium particles are equal to 3 moles. Now we will see how can we find mass under different conditions. First, we will learn to find the mass from the mole of a molecule or atom. Let's see what will be the mass of 4 mole aluminium atoms. To find this, we will multiply the molar mass of the aluminium atom by the number of moles. In this way, the mass of 4 mole aluminium atoms is 108 grams. Now, we will learn to find mass by number of atoms or molecules. What will be the mass of 12.44 into 10 raised to 23 nitrogen N2 molecules? To find this, first we will get the number of moles from the number of given particles. 12.044 into 10 raised to 23 nitrogen gas N2 molecules is equal to 2 moles of nitrogen gas. We will then multiply the number of moles by the molar mass of nitrogen gas N2 by the process learned in the previous example to find the mass. Thus, 
12.044 times into 10 raised to 23 is nitrogen gas into molecules has mass of 56 grams. You can learn to solve the various types of questions which we have just learned through practice. Friends, in this video, we studied molecular mass and mole concept.